On paper, the Panigale makes 216 horsepower at the crank, seven more than the S1K, and at a slightly lower RPM. In terms of torque, the Panigale also pulls ahead, generating seven Newton meters more torque. As for weight, the S1K tips the scales at 197 kilograms, making it five kilograms lighter than the Panigale. However, this weight advantage isn't enough to make up for the difference in horsepower. The Panigale still comes out on top with a slightly better horsepower to weight ratio, but only by a very small margin, less than 1%. The secret behind the Panigale's extra power lies in its displacement. Its 90-degree V4 engine boasts 1,103 cc, 104 cc more than the S1K's inline-4, and features a higher compression ratio. However, this doesn't automatically make the Panigale superior to the S1K. Many riders actually consider the S1K the best superbike on the market for street riding, thanks to its versatility and comfort, while on paper, the Ducati is more likely to excel on the track. Though the S1K's engine is smaller and simpler, lacking features like a counter-rotating crank or Ducati's desmodromic valve actuation system, it's praised for its smooth power delivery, more usable power, and easy handling. Additionally, the inline four layout is more rider-friendly and comfortable, especially on long commutes or in heavy traffic, unlike the Panigale's V4, which places the two rear cylinder banks and exhaust directly under the seat, directing more heat toward the rider. That's why Ducati added the rear cylinder deactivation feature to the Panigale, though it can only do so much. On top of that, the S1K offers a roomier and comfier riding position. Moreover, it also features a shift cam, variable timing, and lift system that slides the camshaft back and forth to engage different lobes depending on the revs, providing a better spread of power across the entire RPM range. For the transmission, Power is delivered to the rear wheel through a six-speed wet clutch that includes both assist and slipper features. Both Ducati and BMW packed these superbikes with state-of-the-art rider aids, like lean-sensitive ABS, six-axis IMU, ride-by-wire, multiple riding modes, quick shifter with auto blipper, and traction control, though the Panigale has the edge by offering more of advanced features as standard, while on the S1K, Features like slide control, engine brake control, launch control, and wheelie control are optional extras. Cruise control is also an add-on for both bikes. A full TFT display is standard on both bikes, but Bluetooth connectivity and multimedia are optional on the Panigale. As for features exclusive to the Panigale, it got Ducati's Vehicle Observer System, an algorithm that uses sensors across the bike to predictively adjust traction and wheelie control, boosting performance and safety. There's also a race combined braking system that automatically applies rear brake pressure when the front brake is used, depending on lean angle, rear load, and predefined settings. On the other hand, the S1K comes with hill start control. With more features available as standard, the Panigale V4 doesn't come cheap. The base model Panigale V4 is priced at $25,995, while the base model S1K costs $18,295, significantly less. For the chassis, both bikes feature perimeter-style aluminum frames that use the engine as a structural member. Ducati goes for a more compact design with what they call a front frame, while the S1K features a more traditional twin spar frame made from four die-cast aluminum pieces, referred to as a bridge-type flex frame. For the front suspension, the base model Panigale comes with a fully adjustable 43mm Showa BPF upside-down fork. While the S1K is equipped with a slightly larger 45mm fully adjustable upside-down fork from Marzaki. At the rear, the Panigale gets a fully adjustable Showa monoshock, while the S1K has a fully adjustable Marzaki shock. Both bikes offer upgraded suspension options. The higher trim V4S gets semi-active Olean's forks and shocks, while the S1K can be fitted with a dynamic damping control package for semi-active suspension. Forefront braking power, the Panigale features Brembo Hyper calibers, whereas the S1K comes standard with Nissan calibers. However, if you choose the Performance M package, you get upgraded Nissan blue anodized calipers from M1KRR with the iconic M logo on them. Ducati only offers the 2025 Panigale V4 in their signature red, while BMW gives you more options with the S1K. 
The stock color is Black Storm Metallic, but if you want it in red, it'll cost you an extra $395. For the exclusive white color, you'll need to get the M package, which is a $4,995 upgrade. This package not only includes the white paint, but also lets you choose between forged or carbon wheels instead of the standard cast aluminum ones, and it comes with an upgraded M Sport seat. The front tire sizes are similar on both bikes, but the S1K runs a slightly narrower rear tire. However, if you opt for the M wheels upgrade, the tire width increases to 200 millimeters. The Panigale has a slightly taller seat height and a steeper rake. It also has a 29 millimeters longer wheelbase compared to the S1K. As for fuel capacity, the Panigale has a half liter larger tank than the S1K.